Your SteadyWeb 5 controller is unpacked, mounted, and connected to your tension transducers and to a brake or other tensioning device, you'll need to zero and calibrate the unit to obtain the most accurate tension readout on your graphical display. Use the quick start guide that came with your SteadyWeb 5 to walk you through the process. Have a length of cord handy and attach it to a known weight that you can use as your calibration weight. The object should weigh at least 10% of the maximum expected operating tension. You will apply the weight after you verify your tension units and tension range. First, turn the controller power on and let the SteadyWeb 5 initialize. The first time you power up, you'll see an error message. It tells you that you can't control web tension until you've calibrated the unit. This is a safety feature. Press the Menu Run button to access the main menu screen. From here you'll navigate to make any changes to functions or setup values. Start by selecting the Operator menu from the main menu. Navigate by scrolling the rotary knob and hitting the Select Soft key at the right. Go to Display Configuration, then to Tension Units. Scroll the highlighted bar over your desired tension units and press the Save key. Now press back twice to exit the main menu. Now navigate to the Calibration menu and into the Tension Range Selection screen. Scroll to Select and Save to set the upper tension value for the jobs you are configuring the controller for. Still within the Calibration menu, navigate and select Calibrate Transducer. Verify that your chosen tension range is correct, then press Next. Now, using the Select Digits key and the rotary knob, enter the known weight of the object you will hang for calibration. Then press the Save key. Make sure there are no web materials or foreign objects affecting the transducer roll you will be calibrating. Then press the Zero key. Hang your calibration weight the correct way, as shown in the on-screen diagram. The rope should be attached securely at one end to your calibration weight and threaded over and under rollers to match your web path. Secure the free end of the rope to the center of an idler roll adjacent to the transducer roll, not directly from the transducer roll, so that the weight is suspended freely over the opposite adjacent idler roller. Press the Cal key. Your calibration is now complete. Now navigate back to the Run Mode display by pressing the Menu Run key. Verify that the displayed tension reading is correct. Now that calibration is complete, you can move on to steps 6 through 10 on the Quick Start Guide. Don't forget to call for assistance if you need help. Our expert tension control tech support team is available 24-7 to help you get the most out of all your Dover Flexo equipment.